Hi, first graders. This is Miss Darian. We are going to do day one in your foundational literacy section of your packet, which is pages four and five. And we are going to be working on new sound and spelling practice. So today you will learn about long vowels spelled vowel, consonant, E. And again, that's page four and five of your packet. Vowel consonant E. So whenever there is a vowel, then a consonant, then an E at the end of the syllable, the E is silent and the vowel says its name, the long sound. So let's just clear something up. A vowel is the are the letters A, E, I, O, U. And a consonant is all the other letters of the alphabet that are not A, E, I, O, U. So let's take a look. The letters A, then the consonant E, can stand for the long A sound, like in cake. Hear that A? The letters I, consonant E, can stand for the long I sound, like in kite. Hear that I? The letters O consonant E can stand for the letter, the long sound O, like in rope. Hear the O? And the letters U consonant E can stand for the long U sound, like in mule. Hear that U? And in each of these words, we do not hear the E at the end. So let's look at the first activity on page four, activity one. We're gonna go section by section. So the directions are to write the letters A dash E or I dash E to complete each picture name with the long A or long I sound. Then trace the whole word. So let's look at the first one. This is a picture of a rake. What do you hear in the middle there? Rake. Say it slowly. Do you hear it? Rake. Yep, it's the A. So we are going to write A and then the consonant and then we write that E that we do not hear. Rake. Let's try this one. This is a picture of a vase. Say it slow. Vase. What do you hear? Vase. Right, you hear the A sound. So we're gonna write in that A. And there's our consonant, and then we write in the E. And you know what, Ms. Darian forgot a very important step. The direction says, then trace the whole word. So let's go back. You have to trace the whole word of rake. Okay, I'm gonna trace the whole word of vase. Okay, now, ooh, look at this one. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a bike. Let's say it slow. Bike. What do you hear there? Say it slow. Bike. Did you hear it? Yes, it's the I sound. So we are gonna write an I. And then we have our silent E at the end. Bike, let's trace the whole word. Bike. Nice job. Let's go down here. Oh, I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is a snake. Let's say it slowly. Snake. 
What do you hear? Do you hear the long A sound or the long I sound? Say it again. Snake. You heard it. It is the A sound. So it's right in our A. And there's our consonant and then we write our E. Now let's trace snake. Ah. Okay, I got a little out of control, but that's the best I can do. Let me trace the E. All right, snake. What is this? Yep, that's a slide. Let's say it's slow. Slide. Do you hear that long A or the long I sound? Slide. Right, it's the long I sound. So we're gonna write in the I. This is our consonant and here's our E. Slide, let's trace it. Slide. All right, now this one is kind of tricky. I'm not sure why they put this one because we don't really hear that A sound. This is whale. So do you think it could be an A or an I? Hmm. Whale. Well, if you said A, you are right. But that one is a little tricky because we do not hear that A sound. Let's trace whale. Nice job, friends. Let's go on to number seven. Okay, not sure if you know what this is. This is a price tag. So on the price tag, there is the price or how much something costs. So let's say price really slowly. Do you hear long A or long I in price? You got it, it's an I. Let's write it in there. And we need our silent E to make I say a long sound. Let's trace over price. Your tracing is probably much neater than Mysterian's. All right. Oh, this is a cage. Maybe you put a bird in there. Let's say cage. What do you hear? You say it slow. Cage. Yep, you heard it. It's a long A. Cage. And we have our silent E at the end. You guys are so good at this. Ah, we got to make sure we trace. There we go. All right. This is one of my favorite things to do. These friends are going on a hike. That means like a, walk, a long walk, usually in a wooded or foresty area. Hike. Let's say it's slow. Hike. Do you hear long I or long A? Hike. You got it. Nice work, friends. Let's trace hike. Hike. Moving along, round number 10. This is a gate. Say it slowly. Gate. You heard it. It's the A sound, the long A. Gate. 
Let's trace it over. Nice work. I know you all know this number. Yes, that is the number nine. Say it slow. Nine. What do you hear in the middle? Is it that long A or the long I? Nine. You got it. The long I. Let's trace over nine. And the reason we say it slowly is because it helps us really hear that sound in the middle of a word. Now this is pretty dangerous. This is a hive. This is where the bees live. Can you say hive? What do you hear? Hive. Yes, it's the long I sound. Hive, let's trace it. Nice work, friends. This is Hive. You are doing fantastic. Let's keep going. Now we're moving on to activity two. So for this activity, we're gonna write the letters O, consonant E, or U, consonant E, to complete each picture name with the long O or the long U sound. And then we're going to trace the whole word. So we're doing the same thing as before, but this time with long O and long U. So this is a beautiful flower. Let's look at number one. This is a picture of a rose. So what do you hear in the middle? Rose. Is it long O or long U? Say it slow. Rose. Right, it's the O, the long O sound. Nice work, let's trace rows. There we go. This was the animal I used in the example. This is a mule. Can you say that slowly? Mule. What do you hear in the middle? You got it, it's the long U, U. Let's trace it. U. Very nice. Now this is a picture of a baby and we know that babies are so cute. So the word we are trying to make here is cute. What do you hear in the middle there? The long O or the long U? Hmm, say it slow, cute. You got it, it's that U sound, that long U. Let's trace cute. Very good. Number four, this is a picture of a hole. Can you say that slowly? Hole. What do you hear in the middle? Long O or long U? Correct, it is long O. Hole, now remember, we always gotta put that E at the end, otherwise the vowel does not say its name. Hole. 
Number five, this is smoke. See the arrow pointing to the smoke coming out of the chimney? Say it slow. Smoke. What do you hear there? If you said long O, you are right. Smoke. smoke. All right, number six. This is a cube, like an ice cube. What do you hear in the middle of cube? Is it that long O or long U? Say it slowly. Cube. Fantastic. It is long U. That's trace cube. Terrific. Okay, next, number seven. So I know on your paper, this is all one big sheet, but Ms. Darian just cut it in half this way. It was easy for us. So now we're on to number seven. Ooh, this is a cone. This is what you would put ice cream in. Can you say cone? Do you hear long O or long U? Cone. You got it. It's long O. Let's trace cone. Nice work. This is a pole, like a flagpole. What do you hear in the middle? Say it slow. Pole. Oh, you guys are getting better at this. You heard it, it was long O. Pole. Number nine, this is a hose. You could find these in the garden to water your plants or on a fire engine, they have a hose. What do you hear in the middle? Hose. You heard it, good job friends. It's long O. Trace hose. Oh, now I'm seeing a lot of these because I just got a puppy. So these are all over the place. Can you say bone really slowly? Make sure you're saying it slow so you hear that sound, bone. Do you hear long O or long U? Got it, it is long O. Bone. I know your handwriting is way better than Mysterian's right now. Okay, this is a globe. It shows us the whole world. It's a globe. Mm-hmm, you're getting these so quickly. It is the long O sound. Remember that E at the end is what's making the vowel in the middle say its name. So it's super important that we put him there. Even though we don't hear him, he has a very important job. All right, the last one is maybe some of you have this and you wear it when you're going to bed. It's a robe, a robe. What do you hear? Long O or long U? Robe. If you said O, oh, you are absolutely right.
robe. Let's trace it. Huh, I just noticed that all the words on this page have long O. Not many long U words. Friends, nice work. Great work, actually. You did it. You finished day one of your foundational literacy in your packet. And you did such a great job. And I'm sure your handwriting was way neater than Mysterian. And you heard that long sound in the middle super quick. I'm so proud of you. Hope everybody's doing great. And I look forward to working with you again.